to get to talk a little a little bit about getting into IGIDR. So now it is through CUET and last year there was no interview also for IGIDR special, uh, which used to happen earlier. So they made it uh, a little simple, I would say, because IGIDR interviews were not the easiest for some people. So uh, so it's a little simple now. So, it, so now everything is CUET dependent, at least that's how it is. I don't know if interviews will come back or not, but... For now, it is all CUD dependent. So when you prepared, if you remember a little bit about that, was there a uh, was there a strategy on uh, you know what to focus on for CUD because it's not very rigorous in the core subjects. So it's not that it's very rigorous in micro, macro, math, and stat. So it's not very rigorous in that. Uh, but still, you you need to come out on the top, and you still need to you know be amongst the toppers in that CUD to be able to get into an IG idea or a DSC or other institutes so anything that you can you know any tips that you can get the students that if you want to um, you want to score high in in a C, in a CUET kind of a paper any tips that you remember from your time uh, yeah so I think the biggest tip is that so even if your aim is to like your top college is DSC or whatever from CUET it's like in January you have IIT Jam right yeah so it's Feb IIT Jam just forget Feb. about yeah, Feb, right. So forget about all the other exams and focus on IIT exam in the way that by by February you should be done with your preparation. Because if you think IIT exam is the exam that you know your dream college is at and you prepare for it fully, then after IIT exam the rest of the exams get a lot easier because at least you're done with the syllabus. So you know just make IIT exam like the first exam that comes up, make that your goal, and then once that's done, then you start thinking about uh, CUET. That was I would say that first prep for all the other exams. I think CUET. Prep can be done last minute also, but for the other institutes, it should be a little more this. Yeah, and like just focus on P libraries. If you're if you're good with your if you have done your undergrad in economics, if you focus on the P libraries, you should be there. Um, if you're and if you get stuck in something, then you look back at the concept. But yeah, P libraries okay. like come first. Correct. So P libraries in terms of P libraries for somebody looking for the CUET exam, would you recommend? Because a lot of people, uh, you know, think that. CUET exam means CUET PYQs. So, uh, you know, what do you think that for somebody who wants to ace the CUET exam, what sort of PYQ should they list, uh, should they look at? Um, so, like at least for this year, the paper that came by that level, if you look at a few old JNU papers, so JNU used to uh, have an additional exam. It used to have these hundred questions that come, yeah, yeah, right, which is macro, micro, math. Okay, it's pretty much that difficulty level. So I would say if CUT is your main goal, then finish those JMU papers first. Yeah. And if you know how to do pretty much everything there, you should be at a decent place. Okay. All right. And, uh, and then this... you do the CUT last year. Like first you do the JMU paper, then you do the CUT, whatever previous year come and the other. Okay. So if you so, so according to you, if somebody is uh, thorough with this JNU papers along with the CUET papers, and if they know if they're able to do those concepts well and they know that material well, then that should kind of secure them for the CUET exam. Yeah, for sure. Got it, got it, got it. And in terms of uh, Indian economy, like I don't think in your time a lot of GK questions came, which was uh, for uh, uh, for the CUET exam. Uh, but there is there is a bit of Indian economy. So, uh, what did you do for that? So, I uh, didn't really focus a lot of English, honestly, for my uh, year. And uh, I mean, they asked a few, like the questions they asked on Indian economy for us was at least very, uh, very general knowledge based in the way that, like, they will say that, okay, what does the finance commission do and all? So, okay. like, that is something that you can just get by, by uh, you know, uh, like, I only, for Indian economy, the only thing I refer to are the additional notes. I don't think I did anything okay. outside. Okay, so you just did the notes that we gave and uh, whatever, that was enough for you. And how so much time... That and the PYQs. That and the PYQs, that and the PYQs of course. PYQs, yeah. So a lot of people ask me, ma'am, how much time should I give to Indian economy? Should I start from, you know, when should I start? They want to know the exact date. Should I start in December or Jan or Feb for Indian economy? They ask me that also. So how about you answer that? When you get bored of studying uh, <laughs> metrics for math, then you start reading Indian economy like story. <laughs> So that was your breaks. So between studying yeah, and, yeah. and, and when economy done, notes and when are the done with it, yeah. And when you're done with like, you know, you keep reading a story long, you still remember the details. Correct. Correct, correct, correct. So, so uh, yeah. And uh, in, in terms of memorizing, like, um, I mean, I remember I made a lot of notes where there were a lot of dates because uh, sometimes in CUET, you have to match the theory with the date 
who wrote this when so i made a lot of notes on that so do you did you kind of try to memorize uh, it by any chance so like in every like basically in every maths the following that comes you you have you have four options right you don't need to know what everyone matches to you just need to find out one or two correct and that should be enough to give you your option right hmm. so usually uh, any time those questions is to come i used to look at the following and i used to try to remember at least one or two very distinct ones like hmm. some of them are very general that have to hmm. remember but like something like what did ricardo do this is something you can remember because it's a distinct name so you try to remember the distinct ones and then usually in the exams at least one on the matter the following will be distinct enough and you can eliminate options hmm. so you you try to know a few of them and so that using those few you could kind of arrive at the right answer that was the strategy the few ones that are distinct like you know they like pop in your like they were distinct remember like memorable name hmm. like something like john smith is hard to remember but something like you know ricardo is easier to remember like so that hmm. so something which is not what you can remember correct so like you said something which is distinct or which is a little different you kind of try to put a date to that so that you can match that and then the others can follow all right okay all right that's also a good tip uh, so um uh, so the, again just you know coming back to this question again like people get really scared about this indian economy bit in uh, in the whole thing and some people ask me that ma'am uh, like you said you just did, did the notes but people do ask me ma'am do we need to go through the entire uma kupila do we need to go into entire ramesh singh and and all of that so i usually say no i mean the reason i'm making notes is that you don't have to do it but uh, so you i mean for somebody and i'm asking this for somebody who has time somebody who doesn't have time can only go through the notes they can't do anything else but somebody who does have time do you would you recommend them to take the effort of uh, going through uh, the whole books so i didn't have uh, like in my undergrad i didn't have indian economy as well oh you didn't yeah i didn't have indian economy at all oh i did my undergrad at sn shrinagar university of course of course so, okay yeah, so you so, didn't have indian economy at all yeah we didn't have indian economy as the way to like we didn't have these standardized textbooks we had indian economy more like from like we didn't even have it as a subject oh. so it was like um, uh i just didn't like i think, i don't know if i'm the right person to answer this because i've never read okay i don't know if it helps i just did the notes of okay. okay i seemed mostly enough they do it, like even in the one that people that came in my year i think they repeated a few of the like hmm. the planning commission and the finance commission this is something that came up in a lot of jnu papers so yeah. i just knew the answer would have been and also like um like even in last year paper there were such few indian economic questions if you were everything else right you still most probably end up at ig idea or ds all right so okay and what about the other subjects like uh, so this is indian economy and then there's micro macro math stat so what i understand from you is that you know as you prepare for everything else in default you are preparing for cvt also because that covers all, a lot of the theories that do come in cvt so is that how you approach like anything do you remember doing anything extra particularly for cvt there are some small topics which don't come in let's say in iit or in isi but they do come in cvt so did you math economics yeah math economics you definitely need to go through the like for the uh, for jam and all like i don't think macroeconomics is that important in the sense that they pretty much ask the same standard islm only all the time hmm. but in the cvt sometimes they ask very niche questions hmm. about the model maybe yeah. so like you need to read the assumptions you need to go through the like just read the theory ones of macroeconomics but that is if you have time if you have time then you can go through that otherwise you can just hope that you can figure it hmm. out so uh, all right okay understood Understood, Rudra. Thank you so much uh, for your other tips. Anything else that you would like to add? Uh, you know, before I close this, uh, either any tip uh, on time management or everything, because that is again something that uh, you know students struggle with a lot. That oh, my internals are there right now, my exams are there right now, and then you know this exam is in the middle of that exam. So you know, if any tip you have on time management, that is always appreciated because that is something that students always struggle with. Yes, yeah, so like. Again, like depending on like so, if your semester exams are coming in the middle of say your prep, right? It's like usually you have the previous year questions of your semester papers as well, right? So most colleges have standard papers. Just do the previous year question that you should be good enough. Your main focus should obviously be the entrances. Yeah, yeah. They kind of play a bigger role where you end up, right? Hmm. So yeah, just try to prioritize what is important and try to do. I take as much for things that don't matter that much. Put min, as minimum effort. that you can put it like mm. till you reach those diminishing marginal returns just 
you know don't don't put in too much effort for something that won't have that much of a return basically mm-hmm. all That's right in in terms of your time like did you have some fixed schedules for managing your time that i'm going to study this this time or something like that uh, so i used to study with uh, one of my friends in college so we we studied for cvt like together every and he's also at iis here so i think if you can do group study i think it helps because it keeps the environment more uh, like you're doing it with a friend so you know when you know yeah. you don't get too tense and if you don't know the answer to something you can get another perspective on it and mm-hmm. i think that helps mm-hmm. otherwise you just get stuck in cycles and you end up wasting a lot of time mm-hmm. so uh, yeah the more people like if you can do it with one to like minded focused individuals yeah. then i would say group study is a pretty good option so this was this was physically studying together sitting together in yeah. college library and studying yeah hmm. so after classes we should just go and spend a few hours there correct four hours there all right so that kind of did everything you know it kind of built a routine it kind of took away the stress it kind of had a helping hand any time you needed one like you said a fresh perspective when you were thinking of something else so all of that all of the typical problems that one has is get solved when you when if you are able to make good uh, you know a group study right that's yeah. uh, that's also a great uh, great tip so that's a lot of people have said especially people who are coming from colleges where you know a lot of people are together uh, sitting for yeah. these entrances a lot of them have said that those who are able to make it that you know those who had a group study all of them were able to crack the entrance yeah. and uh, you know reach the same because you just build you just build in each other because you don't know something that happens in that together we can so many things i think it helps great so that's a, that's a great reminder i guess uh for all of us to kind of find our buddies to study with and uh, you know study with those all right thank you so much rudra for your time and uh, very very thank helpful you. and i wish you all the best for your idea idea journey thank you so much all right thank you bye bye